What's going on everyone? Cameron Plays here. Welcome you to week 4 of the AABL. I am the coach of the San Antonio Salandits. I'm going to go ahead and apologize saying that. I know I said I'd do a live comp and I actually did one. It's just the quality of that uh, live comp was not up to what I wanted it to be. Um, so yeah, I'm now just doing this, but it's all good. Um, I'm going to do this post comp. It's going to be lit. Um, to go over our team real quickly, we have Tesla Memphis Mine holding a life orb with Thick Fat with um, Max Attack, Max Speed, Jolly Nature, Ice Crash, um, Earthquake, Knockoff, Ice Shard, standard stuff. We have Mega Beedrill holding the, uh, of course, Beedrillite, Max Attack, Max Speed, Jolly with U-Turn, Poison Drab, Drew Run, and x Scissor. We have Royalty and Polyon holding the Assault Vest um, with Defiant because, you know, you never know when you're going to need that. Death drop on a focus blast, even though we're not running any physical attacks outside of knockoff. But we also have Scald Ice Beam and HP Fire. We have Spiky Cranberb, the Dredagon with the Rocky Helmet Rough Skin to check his Mega Low Punny. Um, it's our best check to it, and Empoleon's our best check to Dracology, by the way, because Mega Low Punny and Dracology kind of rip through our team. Um, rocking the Dragon Claw, Stealth Rocks, Glare, and Super Power. We have Cyclone, the Tornado Starion, holding a Choice Scarf with Regenerator with um, 92 HP, 252 Special Attack, 164 Speed, Timid Nature with Hurricane, Heat Wave, Sludge Wave, Grass Knot. Last but not least, we have Tapu Koko, Dark Chicken, holding the Life Orb with um, Max Special Attack, Max Speed, Timid with Thunderbolt, Grass Knot, Dazzling Gleam, and HP Ice. So, um, leads on his end, I'm really worried about this Rhyperior because it does wall our Mega Beedrill. That's his best check to it. But Dragalge is also very scary because he could just lead Dragalge and drop a Draco, and nothing on our team really, really wants to take it. And Tapu Koko is not a swap into Dragalge because of a Sludge Wave. Um, I'm pretty sure I lead uh, Empoleon, predicting the Rhyperior lead, just to see kind of like scout out what he's gonna do. Um, question of the day: What is your? What do you think is the best Mega in the format? As we are going up against one of the top ones in. Mega Lopunny, I personally think Mega Lopunny is the best Mega in the format, but there are still some up there that are, you know, like, Mega, what's it called? Mega Pinsir is just a monster in the format. Same with Mega Altaria. Those two are both very, very good. Mega Lopunny is up there as well. Mega Venusaur is also very, really good. It's all dependent on your playstyle. But we are going to hop into the battle and see what he leads with. So I'm going to lead our Empoleon, just to kind of like, you know, never see what he sees. Um, yeah, I can English. Just to kind of see what he wants to do. And I'm going to fire off a safe Scald here. Um, even though I kind of knew the Helios might have came in. And we're going to see he has an Air Balloon, and he's also Dry Skin. So that's actually kind of helpful, because now I know he's not like some shenanigans with Sandstorm. Um, so I'm going to make a swap here. I'm going to go to our Dredagon as we kind of wall him. Uh, it's our best swap into it. Uh, he goes for a Grass Knot, which actually makes contact, which I did not know, which is kind of funny. It's a special move that makes contact, so it's a safe it's a safe play. I think I go for Glare here, predicting him to swap. As he does swap here into his Rhyperior, which is very nice, because now we can paralyze it, um, and we can start doing shenanigans with that. I'm just going to set up my Stealth Rocks here, and kind of scout out what he wants to do, as he does the exact same. He goes for his Rocks. And I need to kind of scout out what kind of set this is, so I'm going to go for a Dragon Claw, and I'm going to see it does very, very little damage, which tells me he's max HP, max defense, as he fires off a Toxic. Now, um, he has some attack, he's not max max, but he, he has to have some attack investment, I'm assuming, but Mammoth Spine's a great swap in here, as we can start paraflinching this thing with Icicle Crash and the Paralysis, as we're going to swap straight into it, um... Kind of scout out what he wants to do, and he gets paralyzed, which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, that's kind of why I went for Glare, not going to lie, because I needed to get some things to happen. So I'm going to fire off an Icicle Crash here to try to paraflinch this thing down. We're going to take some uh, Life Orb damage, and he's going to get paralyzed again. Um, that one, I can understand why it mattered, because on the next turn you're going to see, or the first one, because I expected one para out of those three turns. And if we got one para, then we would have been we would have gotten all three icicle crashes off. And earthquake does over half, so that's kind of scary. Um, it just depends where we get the para, I assume. But we're gonna fire off an earthquake here, uh, because I know he's not swapping in a Heliolisk, and I didn't want to miss. Um, so we're gonna get some good damage off. And his only check to Beedrill is dead. He's gonna swap to his Mega Low Punny, and I realize I can save Mammoth Swine as Death Fodder, so I'm gonna swap to my Dredagon. And Dredagon got really weakened really quickly, and I'm not a fan of that, but 
uh, it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, as you can see, she does go, he, he goes for the safe fake out. God, I hate, Megalopony so fucking thick. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, but she does go, he goes for the fake out. I keep saying she because I see a Megalopony. And we're going to drop a lot, but he's also going to take a lot of damage. So he's going to swap out into his Togekiss here. And I play safe and I go for Glare because I know, I predicted him to actually go for like a power up punch or something. I was like, what if he sets up a power-up punch and then return sweeps me? Because I'd have to land a hurricane, but... Luckily, we can get the pair on the Toji's Kiss. I'm going to pull a swap into our Tabu Koko, and he makes a great prediction here, and he goes straight into his Dragalge. And what... It's just... It was a really good read on his part, because now we have to pull another swap. We have to show that Empoleons are checked to his um, Dragalge. We're just going to swap straight out. We're going to go straight into the Empoleon. He actually plays really safe here, and he's like Sludge Wave, so it's really good we got Empoleon in for free. Now, Focus Blast is going to do about half to me, but we can take one, and Ice Beam, I'm going to see he's actually Assault Vest with his Ice Beam, because it did not do half, and he's going to use Thunderbolt, so he's using our Electric Train against us, which is fine by me. Um, he actually, I go for Ice Beam, because I'm not letting this thing get any more. i got to get this thing as low as possible, as he actually goes into Kecleon. Um... Again, I was not expecting Kecleon. I felt like Mew or Landers Incarnate was a better bring for him, but that's just me. I'm going to go for a knockoff to just kind of scout out what this guy is going to do. As I forget this thing, it's Drain Punch. I was just like, oh, I can live any hit, and he actually goes for Drain Punch and knocks us out. So that's really unfortunate that we did all that for nothing. So we're going to go down here, and this gives us a chance to go into Tapu Koko. And a Thunderbolt... Um, I kind of misplay here. No, I don't. Never mind, because the Electric Terrain comes back up. I thought the Electric Terrain went out that turn. But I still think I misplayed. I should have clicked Dazzling Gleam here. Um, but we clicked Thunderbolt as, I mean, it was a good play because we still two-shot the Dragalge, but I felt like I, f I felt like the Dazzling Gleam was smarter as it could have killed the, pretty sure it killed the Dragalge yet, or put it down really low. But Dazzling Gleam will knock out the Dragalge, which was the second biggest threat. We have two, we have three of his, we have two of his three biggest threats down in the Rhyperior and Dragalge. Now we just gotta take care of this Mega Lopunny, and I think we're good. So, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna go straight into my Dredagon, I think, right here. And he's gonna go into his Togekiss. I think we go to Dredagon here. Pretty sure we do. Yeah, we go to Dredagon. So, no, I got a Mamoswine to actually sack it off. Um, <laughs> silly me, silly me. Um, yeah, I, I kind of wish I saved it. <laughs> when I did that, I saw he swapped, and I was like, damn it, because I knew, I knew that that could have been helpful later. But this does give me a free swap into Mega Beedrill as Poison Jab Oko's the rest of his team. It is, there's no doubt that no matter what happens, I will get a kill here. And that's what, exactly what happens. Um, so yeah, uh, he can go into his Mega Low Punny right here and click Fake Out, and actually he goes to Kecleon. As both of these are going to do a lot of damage. Fake out from both of these is just going to do way too much. So I'm going to swap straight out. Um, this does mean we are now in quick attack and fake out range for Mega Lopunny on our Mega Beedrill on our next swap in. So we have to be really careful. He's going to go for fake out. He's going to take Rough Skin Rocky Helmet damage. And we're going to live on 2% from Toxic. This is where the battle's getting interesting because I know I'm going to go down here. I'm predicting like a Shadow Sneak, so I just go for the Superpower. As he actually goes for Sucker Punch, so I'm glad I clicked Superpower because if I didn't, we could have lost. We would have lost if I didn't click. Um, a move right there, but I go to my, so we're going to pause real quick, because our Tornado's Theory is Choice Scarf, and it came down to what I thought he was going to go into, is he going to go into his Megalopony, or is he going to go to Heliosk, if he goes to Heliosk, and I go to Tornadus, I have to swap, but I realized late, late, like last, um, like at the end of that video, not video, at the end of the battle, that if he went to Heliosk and I went Torn, no matter what, I'd be okay, because I could go to Coco. But if I go Torn here and he goes Heliosk, like I said, I'd have to swap. If I go Beedrill and he goes Heliosk, I get a free kill. And that that was the scary part. I was like, if I go Beedrill and he goes Heliosk, I get a kill. If I go Beedrill, he goes, um, what's it called, Low Punny, I could lose because of Fake Out. And I didn't want that to happen. Um, I almost considered going to Coco because I felt like it was not useful. But it does outspeed the Heliosk. So my entire team outspeeds Heliosk. And only one Pokemon I, Pokemon I have, and two of my Pokemon I have outspeed the Mega Lopunny. But Mega Lopunny's priority can kill my Mega Beedrill. So I have to go to Tornadus, and I have to land a Hurricane here. As he does go to his Mega Lopunny, 
Um, this is, he's really close to being in range of Sludge Wave, but he's not quite there. He'd have to take, I think, like, another thing of rocks. So, he's going to go for Fake Out. We're going to take 30%. And right now, two Hurricanes will kill the Heliolisk. I have to land a Hurricane here to win, and we do land it. If I missed it there, we would have lost, because he told me earlier he had Quick Attack on his Mega Low Putty. And that easily would have killed our Mega Beedrill. Um, good game to Alex. Uh, we are going to win this battle 2-0. Um, we're going to let our Tornadoes go down here. We're going to land another Hurricane, which, I mean, after our last battle, we kind of, I liked it because we missed half our Hurricanes or something like that stupid. But Cyclone's going to go down here. We're going to give the kill to Mega Beedrill, who's now sitting at a 7-1. Uh, what's it called? 7-1. Um, kill death ratio, which is really good for four weeks in my opinion. Um, it's not like um, Cody Salamence, who we have to play next week. We have to play Cody, who has the best team in the freaking league, and I'm really scared. But it's doing its job. Um, you can definitely tell the improvement from Mega, the Mega Speed tier. This thing has gotten, but uh, good game to Alex. We go up to three and one. I think we are. We can move up to as far up as second. Or fifth, we're gonna be somewhere in between second and fifth, depending on what everyone else does. So, uh, like I said, good game to everyone. Um, uh, Alex, uh, you have a really good team. Alex's team is very scary. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get about. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button down below. And yeah, I'll see.